News 5 at 10 starts now. New reaction tonight to a security scare at Memphis International Airport after a family dressed in traditional Muslim clothing was removed from a plane. Good evening, I'm Ursula Madden. And I'm Joe Birch. Action News 5's Jason Miles is live from the airport with this story. Jason? Joe, we do not know if this family was in fact Muslim, but I'm told it did appear that way. Something the airline claims was merely coincidental as the family was removed from a flight. And I comments about seeing people on a plane who appear to be Muslims. I get worried. I get nervous. Got national public radio analyst Juan Williams fired last week. And some cannot help but think their appearance had something to do with a family's removal from a plane Tuesday morning at Memphis International Airport. My understanding is is they were dressed in um, uh, attire that would indicate uh, uh, some Muslim type uh, religion. The Delta flight in question was operated by Com Air and made a stop in Memphis on a journey from Dallas to Toronto. According to this statement from a Com Air spokesperson, quote, on taxi, the crew became concerned when a passenger exited the lavatory after an extended period of time and damage was found in the lavatory. I've learned that damage was to a toilet, which was found slightly askew after the man of the family used it. They asked the uh, family to leave the aircraft, which they did uh, peacefully. Uh, at that point, the aircraft was inspected uh, and uh, cleared. A bomb-sniffing dog and other measures resulted in a two hour delay while the family was placed on a later flight following an interview with the FBI. I mean, even if they were in jeans, they look different. It's going to happen. Prabha Singh is not Muslim, but Hindu, and told me she often feels suspicion herself. If you do the same thing, it won't happen as much I would do it, so I watch what I do these days. For now, the airline stands behind the flight crew's decision, citing safety as their primary concern. And neither the airline nor law enforcement officials are releasing much information about this family, including a last name or exactly where the family lives. Reporting live from Memphis International tonight, Jason Miles, Action News 5.